What's going on guys, Sean Guts here, back with another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to zero gap your regular adjustable clippers. Now guys, this will apply on any of your clippers that have the two hole blades, like you can see here. This is the X Ergo, this is the Babyliss FX, but it will work on like a Wall Senior, Wall Legend, all your Gamma Style Craft stuff, most of your Babyliss clippers, and his Master, and all of those will operate the same exact way as I'm gonna show you today. Now a couple things to think about guys, when we do adjust this, when we close it all the way, we wanna be careful. If we do zero gap it, this clipper is not gonna work well with guards on it. It is gonna rattle the guards. So I'm gonna zero gap it, I'm gonna show you guys that. I will also show you how I set it slightly back to avoid it rattling the guards. Another thing to understand guys, is when we go messing with the gap of the clipper, it is going to adjust the cutting length. So of course guys, a fade blade is shorter than a taper blade, but when we zero gap it, it's gonna be a little bit closer, and then our open section on that same clipper is gonna be a little bit shorter. So we have to understand that when we go about our fading system. You guys know I teach, I use the same fading system every time, and when I get a new clipper, if it is slightly adjusted different or has a different blade than what I'm used to using, that's what sometimes gives me trouble with my steps not working exactly the same. So as long as you guys understand that, when we go messing with these links, it is gonna change slightly the links of each guard as we go through our system. You guys just have to figure it out and get comfortable with how you have it set and understand what you get with each guard and you guys will have no problem. But let's head down to the station. I'm gonna show you guys how to loosen this blade and get it zero gap. All right, so you guys can see I have my Stylecraft Rebel, I have my Gamma X Ergo, and my Babyliss FX Clipper. You guys can see they all have these two screws on the back. That is how we're gonna adjust it. These will all operate the same exact way. So I'm only gonna show you guys on the FX, but you guys see they all have the two screws and you will adjust these all exactly the same. All right, so the first thing we wanna do, we wanna loosen these two screws. Guys, make sure that your screwdriver head is big enough. If we use this small head and it can spin in here, we will end up stripping these screws out. And that is a common problem that a lot of people have. So we're gonna use the wide head. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my screwdriver and I'm just gonna loosen these slightly. You guys can see the clipper head is able to move around. It's super loose. I'm gonna close the clipper. Now you guys can see I can push it. It's actually now past the cutting teeth. And then I can push it all the way up and now it is very not zero gapped, if that makes sense, guys. You see how much gap we have right there? So zero gapping means we're gonna push this down and it's gonna be flush with the cutting teeth. Now, very important, guys, if these cutting teeth stick out past the steel blade, you have the risk of cutting somebody. So very important that we make sure that these are flush. That is what zero gap means and not past the blade back here. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I go about adjusting that with my mirror. So you guys can use any hard surface. The mirror is something that I like to use. The power mat's a little bit soft, so I would not use that, but you can use a station, something that's solid. We're gonna use the mirror today. So guys, like I said, we have this loose. I can push it up. It's all the way up right now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the lever closed. I'm gonna push it down flush against the mirror. Now both blades are touching the mirror. If I pull that up, it should be flush. Now you guys can see that is zero gaps. Now one thing guys, when we do tighten these screws, it is gonna turn because the screws are turning clockwise, it's gonna wanna pull the blade. So one thing I will do is hold all of that down against the mirror and we will tighten it right here against the mirror. So I'm gonna tight, snug them all the way down, pull it back up. We always wanna double check guys. And I can already see, let's see if you guys can see this. The cutting teeth are past the edge right there on this corner. Can you guys see that? So that's not gonna work. It is gonna be too sharp. We don't want it that sharp. And so I'm gonna loosen this screw. This side's good, this side isn't. So I'm gonna loosen this screw. I'm just gonna push this up. I'm gonna eyeball it. We'll tighten this back down and check it out. So now you guys can see that is actually zero, zero, zero gap. That is very close. And again, guys, this time I'm gonna do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna hold it in my hand. You see I have the clipper closed held back here. I have the blade held on both sides. And as I turn it right, I'm keeping it from going that way as I tighten it. And we're good to go. Now I'm gonna show you guys, like I said, when it is zero gapped, if we put a guard on it, you guys hear that rattle? So it is hitting the cutting teeth are hitting the guard. So for that reason, guys, and if you follow my channel, you know I use the trimmer to take out my bald line. So I'm not really concerned about this being all the way closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it up myself to the amount that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lever. I'm gonna scoot this back until it is just close. And you guys see, this is where I usually set my clipper. You can see it is close to the top, 
but not zero gaps. Now, another thing to notice, guys, we want to make sure when we put the blade in, if you guys can see, it's hard to see on this black blade. Our steel blade is back here. Our cutting blade is here. We want to make sure that when it goes back and forth, it covers the full gap on the open teeth right here. So you want to turn it on. You want to make sure that it's covering past this line and it's coming past this line. You guys can see mine is actually a little bit further this way. So I'm going to loosen that up and move this back to the center. I'm going to make sure you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you see we got our cutting blade in the middle. And you see, we, we can see a lot of these teeth over here on the steel blade, and we and it's coming too far over this way. So you see, as I move that, we're gonna put the steel blade perfectly centered behind the cutting teeth. Now you guys see it is not very gapped, so I'm just gonna lightly press down to move that down to where I want it. I think that's a good amount. We'll go ahead and tighten that down, and we're gonna call this done. All right guys, so that is set. You can see it and let's test it out with a guard and make sure that it doesn't rattle. You guys see, that is how I operate my clippers. No rattle, open closed is good. Not gonna chew up my teeth on my guard and we're good to go. All right guys, so that is how you zero gap or adjust your clipper blades. If you guys have any questions about clipper blades, I have a video that goes over all the different blades, taper, fade, fusion. If you guys wanna check that out, click the card up above and make sure you check that out. But guys, you adjust these however you like. If you do like a zero gap, just understand that it's probably gonna rattle your guards and probably just use that clipper to take out your bald line and then have another clipper that's not so zero gap to use with your guards. That's what I would recommend. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what clipper you use and if you like a zero gap or not. Make sure you guys subscribe. I got some more dope content coming soon. If you guys need to see any other equipment videos, how to adjust things, leave me a comment. Let me know what you wanna see. And I'll catch you guys next time.